Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 34 of my gameplay on No Man's Land. It is February 2nd. Well, the second half of February. It's not really the second of February. And we're heading in to sell Sunflower. We got a screaming deal at the farm shop for 814, which is really, really good, quite honestly. So I was happy about that. Uh, but yeah, since you guys last saw me last watching the episode, I got the Sunflower Harvest done. Um, I also had to do some other stuff here, which we'll go over in a second. Um, in terms of what I sold, um, so again, yeah, I'm just gonna, I got a list here, I'm gonna go over stuff with you guys. I finished the Sunflower Harvest, so we're gonna sell that right now. I sold the remaining silage bales, which was like, I think we had 31 bales left, so I sold those, we got about 20 so, or 20 or so thousand, excuse me, 20 or so thousand from that. I also sold our corn for 13 grand, which you might say, well, why'd you sell the corn? Weren't we gonna make cereal with it? And I'll explain why we're no longer gonna make cereal. It's not because I don't want to make cereal. I actually was really excited to make cereal, so I'm really bummed that we shouldn't make cereal anymore. Um, but that also means we have a lot of honey to sell, so we actually could look into selling our honey too because we have a lot of honey getting manufactured by our bees. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to take this in. We'll get this sold. And then with you guys in here, I'm going to kind of give you guys an update about some different stuff that we got going on, which actually while this guy is up here, I might, I'll might i drive him off or drive him home off camera. I'll just show you guys the other things that we want to get done. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on in terms of everything um, this episode that I want to get done. So I would like to get, I think, I, I mean, you guys probably know what the thumbnail is, but I would like to get another harvester if we could. I think that would be ideal. And we should get quite a bit of cash, actually, for the sunflowers here. I'm thinking we'll do pretty good off them. So let's see here. Oh, yeah, we're going to do, do just fine off of these sunflowers. Yep, twenty thousand dollars just about. So basically, what that means is our harvest off of this field is twenty grand. So that's pretty good for your harvest off of that. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, okay, yeah. So let me hop back down here uh, to our our little area down here. So in terms of everything on the farm, I know it's a little, a little dark out right now. Obviously, you know we have barley planted here, and then we have canola in these two fields. This field this year, I have, honestly have no idea what we're gonna plant. Um, we could do all sorts of different things. We're going to think about it. I might look through my subscriber contracts. Oh, no, we needed soy. Was it Larry that needed soy? Larry needed soy for his pigs? Yeah, we'll just plant some soy. I'm pretty sure we can make that happen. Soy? Yeah. In April, we'll just plant some soy. That'll be a good uh, use for that field. So that's what we'll do. We're going to plant soy. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget uh, soy. We're going to plant some soy in that field. That'll be, that'll be perfect for us. Um, our fields did get weeds. Well, these three fields did get weeds because we didn't plow them because we used a direct drill uh, seeder, which you guys know since we bought a new seeder. So um, I did um, lease a sprayer, this guy right here, and I just held on to it. Again, it's now our... Oh, right, I'm not allowed to have more than three. Did I say three in here? I said three, didn't I? I was thinking, why did I think I said five for a second? Did I say five or three? I can't remember. Well, anyhow, let's just do this because this is just easier. This thing is not very much money. We're just going to go ahead and purchase that. So now we don't have to worry about that. And then if we go in there, actually, the other things we're going to purchase is this. I wanted to do this anyways, because that's not very much money. And then we'll also purchase this guy right here. Purchase for 10 to 60. Should we do that one? Well, we'll keep making payments on that one for now. Um, those two will keep making payments on. It doesn't really affect us that much. But uh, yeah, okay. So those are not those are not expensive pieces of equipment. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. That's my bad. We have, we've always had the money to do it, so we didn't really circumvent anything anyways. But anyhow, I now bought that cedar. I leased it at first to do all the weed spraying. Um, and then we didn't get another harvest off of the grass field, which was kind of a bummer, which I knew we probably wouldn't because we had started it kind of this whole field from scratch last year, but that's fine. Um, I fertilize, if we go over to here, I fertilize these three fields with their second seed of fertilizer. Um, so they're good to go in terms of that. But, uh, yeah, that's what we kind of got going on. Um, this episode, I would like to get a new harvester. I think that'd be good. Um, and then I think we're going to do one round of hay bales out here, and then we're going to keep those hay bales because I think we are going to do horses. Um, so again, we sold the corn that we had off of here, so we don't have any corn anymore, which is fine. Um, now I did think about doing, I know we can make popcorn here, but, um, I'm actually going to set this to, we're not going to make popcorn. I'm going to set that to selling. We'll make a little bit off of that. Uh, oatmeal, we actually might make more oatmeal at some point. Oh, there are oats in here, but we were going to use those for cereal, which we're not anymore. So let's just go ahead and activate that. We'll have that finish out, um, making more oatmeal and we'll sell that oatmeal off because yeah, we're not going to do popcorn anymore. Uh, because we make like just pennies more. Um, I mean, we don't make any hardly anything. We make. we make a little bit of profit off that oatmeal. At least we make about a hundred to two hundred dollars more per thousand liters. So that's definitely worth running it through. 
This one we might like 10 to $20 per thousand liters. So it's not really worth the extra effort of moving it. And then our wood is actually completely done. So we need to sell some pallets of uh, planks off. But I'm actually just gonna write, I need to write a little to-do list for me on what I need to do. So we're gonna plant soy. I need to sell planks off, which is gonna be fine. And then I'll need to sell oatmeal once we get there because the oatmeal normally has a great price. And then I will also sell off our honey because we have a, if we run over here real quick, see that little zoom in over here. We have a ton of honey over here. So we have each one of these little stacks is 2,000 liters. So two, four, six, eight, ten. 10, yeah, just over 12,000 liters of honey sitting here, which, I mean, that'll fetch us a good chunk of change there. So we're starting to make more and more money, which is really cool, actually. Um, yeah, 1100 bucks per, I mean, there's, oh, we should sell it immediately if we can get, oh, rest. I mean, there's lots of good places in here to sell. Uh, we should sell the honey right away. So I will sell honey. I'm going to write that on my list because we're not using it in cereal production anymore. Now you might say, well, why aren't we using it in cereal production? I looked at a couple of things here. So first off to make cereal, we need one raisin, one honey, two oats and two. Oh, wait a second. I might've actually messed this one up. Let me think here. Okay, cereal's not as bad as I thought. I forgot to multiply this by two. That's an important cycle there. So we actually, you do actually make a profit off of the cereal, but you don't make a lot of money. You make hardly any money off of this. So the inputs cost you about, and you guys have probably seen my inputs and outputs um, calculations that I've done on different production chains. The inputs here cost you 4.873 per cycle. That's how much if you were to sell the stuff separately. And then now what we're making off it, if I just double what I had out of it, um, you're only making 5.262 off of the top end. So 40 cents, I mean, times, yeah, 40 cents times what we have 1200 cycles. So you're making an extra 480 a month. So really not a lot to be completely honest, if you're running this full time 1200 cycles a month, which is a lot anyways. But uh, yeah, so is it worth it? Kind of maybe a little bit. Uh, but I don't I think it's just less of a hassle for us to have to make cereal to just sell it all separate So we're just gonna do that. I don't think it's really worth our hassle um, But yeah, we'll keep making raisins though because the raisins are definitely worth it because if you look at I mean That's a one-to-one -one ratio raisins sell for I mean up to fifteen hundred dollars and then if we go to grapes themselves um, The best price for the 760 so that it just about doubles the value of the grapes, which is really worth it um, but yeah, so that's what we got going on. Um, I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, and I need to also add that we're gonna add more uh, grape uh, grape vines. We're gonna add more grape vines is what I also wanna do, um, which isn't, I didn't, doesn't necessarily have to happen off camera, of course, but that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna plant soy here and get a couple of those other things done. And I think that'll be what we're gonna get going with on this episode. I think that's a good kind of place to be. So our money's gonna go up because I'm gonna sell planks. You guys have seen me sell, sell planks before. And all of our raisins that we're going to get, we're going to get paid for them, but they're going to go towards our cereal contract, or I can't talk. It is late for me. It's a, it's 1.09 in the morning for me, in case you're wondering, because I'm trying to switch my schedule to start working graveyard, which is exhausting. But anyhow, um, I need to check in over here with these guys. But uh, yeah, so our raisins are, that we're making over here at our uh, production facility here are going to get sold off to our, ooh, where is it at? Oh, gosh, no, it's right over here, isn't it? Yeah, we do cereal production for that cereal contract that we have. But yes, I'm going to get a lot of stuff done off camera. Not a lot, honestly, just a couple of mundane things, mostly just selling something here and there. And I'll write down everything we make off everything, let you guys know. But you guys, you guys don't want to just watch me transport stuff around the map. So that's just not really a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get some stuff done and I'll bring you guys back in here in just a bit. All right, good to see you guys. So a lot of stuff, I think, I think all this stuff has happened since you guys were last in here. I'm pretty sure I didn't mention any of this. That's why I've got it written down. But uh uh, so I sold $38,500 worth of planks. So for where we're sitting right now, that's going to be pretty much everything we got um, in terms of planks there. I also sold our oatmeal, all the oats that we had processed through um, to oatmeal. So I got those sold off. Do we have any more oats? We do have some more. Yeah, that's right. Those are just the ones that were sitting in there, which we're not going to worry about. Um, I got soy planted here. I bought six more rows. If we go right here, I bought six more rows of grapes. I also mulched everything. Got everything plowed in, everything, all the new grapes are fertilized as well. So grapes are doing really good down here. I uh, got that done. Uh, pruned the vines, did all that good stuff. Um, yeah, again, planted soy here. We'll uh, throw another layer of fertilizer down tomorrow. It's only, yeah, it's only April right now. Um, I did do, if we go out to here, I did bale this as hay. I cut it and baled it as hay. Um, so there's some bales out here and there's a load of them, um, a trailer full sitting right here, good to go. So 
that's what I got in terms of that. I sold the oatmeal that we had made uh, for $2,100. Um, yeah, and the grapes cost us $25,000 to place those six rows around that. So yeah, bought, yeah, because they're like four grand a row or something like that. Um, and I also sold our honey for $14,500. So we got good money off of that. But uh, yeah, so quite a bit of stuff happened, but that is where we're kind of at. Um, right now we are going to drive in, um, oops, I, don't, I don't need that there or that. We are gonna drive into town. Um, not really into town, I guess, more than anything else. But what we are gonna do is we are going to try to go talk to, because we're thinking about getting some horses. So I kind of want to go talk and ask some questions of Morgan the Deer Man, since he does do horses in this area. So uh, I figure his farm is up over up over here. He's got horses up over there. So we're gonna go drive up there, have a little conversation with him, uh, because he's gonna be the guy that's gonna know about the horses and doing horses in this area and taking care of them and stuff like that. Um, I think we will end up feeding our horses sorghum at some point. Uh, once we get some sorghum done, so probably next year we'll plant some sorghum. Uh, but for now, a lot of our crops that we have growing are for different subscriber contracts. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're going to go out there. We're going to talk to Morgan the Deer Man, uh, see if he's got any information for us. We may even be able to buy some horses off of him or where we can get some horses. We'll try to figure all that stuff uh, kind of out with talking with him. Uh, ooh, ooh, that was a lot of lag, a lot of lag coming in over here. Oh, you can do it. Wow, yeah, it does not want to... I guess I haven't, since I loaded into the game save this time around, I haven't come over here yet. Uh, wow, yeah, that was really laggy. That's really bad even for, uh, for... Yeah, that was just way worse than it normally is. It's still trying to render in all the map and everything, but that's okay. Once it's all rendered, it should be good to go. Uh, so we'll go up here, we'll take a look at... Uh, it looks like there's kind of something up over the hill, too. But uh, yeah, let's go talk to Morgan the Deer Man. Let's see, he's got, um, in terms, oh wow, that leg is killing me. I hate leg so much. Okay, I mean, who doesn't? I don't think anyone really likes it, but yeah. All right, yeah, let me go talk to Morgan the Deerman and see what he's got for us. All right, so Morgan the Deerman said he, uh, he gave me some good advice in terms of uh, getting some horses taken care of here. He said he'd be able to provide us with some horses as well if we wanted to buy some off of him to get going. Uh, which is really good news for us. Um, and then he did say that up here, this neighbor is a new neighbor that does, I guess, bee farming or something like that. Wow, this is kind of interesting here. Wow, it looks kind of, there's a lot going on through here. Um, yeah, let's go talk to this guy. This guy's probably got to have something to say. We'll just pull up here and then maybe we can go walk around and take a look at what he's got going on. All right, super nice guy, his name was Gavin. Um, so he actually did provide this as a kind of a business for us or a, as part of like the subscriber contract or however you want to put it. But uh, this is what he left. He said, business idea and backstory. Um, he said, he said he tried to read it with a Southern accent, but I probably will not do that. He says, howdy, I'm currently looking for some help. And I figured since we are practically neighbors, maybe you'd help. I own a small wooden house, placeable pack farmhouse mod. I use a different mod probably, but um, I just kind of have to customize it. Um, but yeah, he's out here producing honey. You heard me already. Got myself a beef, a beef farm up here. He says, as of late, I've been frequently doing trips to the big city and maintaining the bees and their needs have been uh, harder. I have a proposition for some delivery jobs. Um, kind of relieved me of some of the stress. So we might be able to help him out with some delivery jobs. He said, um, occasionally he'd be able to give us 10 or 15% of the income from honey from each delivery. Um, if uh, we're able to help him out. Uh, but yeah, so that is fantastic. Gavin's got a really nice beef farm, uh, through here. We're just gonna, we'll just drive through it because I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but yeah, so down over here, that's his storage facility down over there. That's where his, uh, his bees have honey spawn. And it's a honey spawn point. A couple little sheds, a little mobile bee trailer up there. And then up here, this is kind of just, uh, yeah, he just bought this area and then put some beehives up here and some trees and different wildlife and foliage and stuff. But yeah, this is Gavin's little bee farm area in here. So uh, there we go. Fantastic, Gavin. There's your bee farm, my friend. I hope it is just what you want. You know what we, it really needs? Maybe some fencing going up that uh, route there. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, yeah, we'll let that save. Let's go ahead and jump over to... I think he's yeah, he's part of local farmers. Um, let's just go ahead and put some fences in real quick. I think that'll be good. Nothing crazy. I think, actually, honestly, that really... Uh, one of the really basic fences, like this guy right here, would fit really well in with what we got going on, the look of this area. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Just like that. And then over here. 
we go. Yeah, something like that. I think that looks really good there. Um, that, we maybe can go one more out there. Yeah, like I like that a lot. I think that adds to it, and I think that kind of makes sense with what we got going on. Maybe do one more out that way. A couple more out that way. There we go. Okay. Um, and on that note, let's jump back over to our farm. But there we go, Gavin. There is your bee farm, my friend. Um, in terms of what we got going on, um, we're just going to kind of wait to harvest, and then we are going to purchase ourselves a new harvester. I might just go ahead and buy it off camera and then bring you guys back in and show you guys what we're going to get. You guys probably have some good ideas what I'm going to get, but you never know. So we'll kind of have to see. But yeah, we're going to drive back over to the farm and then I'm going to see you guys when it is time to harvest. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come to reveal our new harvester. I know you guys probably already saw it because it's probably the thumbnail, but look at this piece of work here. New harvester time, guys. New harvester time. Now, obviously, our money has not gone down a lot. Um, that's because we are leasing this. Now, again, I can only have three items, so I had to buy the... If we go to our shop down here, I bought this guy right here. So we own this guy flat out right now, but we're going to make payments on... Gosh, I really wanted this tractor, too, by the way. Oh, there's so many good tractors. I actually... Oh, I might buy it because it's only got 20 hours. This one we can do... What if we do GPS then? We're looking at a $90,000 tractor to get what we got. So I think we just hold off for now. That's a good deal. That's also a good deal for that one too. Oh, we'll get more tractor deals. One tractor, and I actually don't know how good it is in terms of things um, that I, no, not in there. Um, the one that I really want to try, is this the, yeah, FarmCon one, this guy right here. It's only 50 horsepower, but this thing is just, it's a, such a good looking tractor. I just really badly want to use it. So hopefully at some point, because I got to see this tractor with a scan in real life. I got to see the real life tractor, which is super cool. I actually have a video with that on my channel about that. But anyhow, um, okay. So regardless of that, yeah, that's a pretty sweet tractor. But our, our harvester, it's good to go. We're going to hold on to our other harvester for now because we're not going to, I mean, if we go into our garage, I know we'll get a little bit more if we took it down to the store, but we're not going to get a lot for this thing. It doesn't have a ton of hours on it. It's not a terrible harvester, so... It's just small, but yeah, let's go ahead and fire this baby up and get it going. So yeah, actually, I should talk about what harvester I actually got though first here. Uh, so I went under harvesters and then I went with this guy. So these two are very similar. They're pretty much the same harvester, except this is four wheel drive. I decided to go tool drive because with some duels in the front, which is how I set it up, duels, good to go. And then I did the XL bin uh, down here, bigger engine, longer pipe. Um, and I did do GPS on it. So 88590 was the total price, but I just leased it again for now. So 4518, and then we'll pay 885 a day uh, plus 1860 an hour. And again, all both of those I've tested it, by the way. Every time you get an hourly fee, it does go towards the purchase there. And then in terms of headers, I purchased um, I looked in here. Um, this one, I was like, okay, that one's pretty big, but I want to go a little bit bigger. So I went with this one, the 8.5 meter there. And I decided that this, the next one up for case, was a little bit too big. So I think this is about the perfect header size for this bad boy here. But let's start it up. Oh, unfold it. There we go. Come on. What? Should be unfolded. Uh, there it goes. Maybe it was just finishing. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently. Oh, yeah. And we are harvesting barley, ladies and gentlemen. And this is going to be so much quicker and so much better for us to use this than anything else. And by the way, in terms of everything we got going on, um, nothing else is ready to harvest. The grass isn't quite ready. I know it says it's ready, but it still needs to go one more day before we'll harvest it. So, yeah, this is incredible. A new harvester, guys. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is a big deal for us. This is a big deal for us. This is a really big equipment upgrade for us quite honestly this is one of our, our first really big equipment upgrades in terms of getting something bigger and better for our farm so this is a really big deal for us um yeah this is a big deal i will bail the straw and probably just sell it flat out whatever the rate is just to make a little extra cash on the side uh, it's not a big deal there and the next episode we'll probably look at getting into horses i think and then yeah because we're talking about different like capital improvements we kind of talked about that uh, harvester was pretty high on the list in terms of things that we needed to get going but uh yeah we got that done oh gosh this hill is a struggle wow we're not gonna be able to get up over that hill is that oh that hill is really bad actually that is a really weird 
good news is about the landscaping tool in the new game, yeah, you can see the little like kind of nub in there. If we actually go into here, you can do you can smooth stuff while there's still stuff on it, which is just what needs to happen here. This is just so unsmooth. Now the other ones will actually delete what's on there, the textures, but the smoothing feature is actually really nice. Yeah, look at that. We can actually make it over the top now. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's still not great. I wish it was a little smoother, but that's much better than it was. Um, and it didn't really cost us a whole lot either. So, yeah, this is incredible. This is incredible. Big harvester upgrade. We'll hold on to an old one. Because, um, again, we have a worker right now. Over-engineered tractor can maybe run the old one while we run the new one. If we wanted to go that route and do that sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. So, next episode. Plans. We are going to get horses going, hopefully. That's the plan. Um, hopefully add in another subscriber business. Get some subscriber contracts done. So all these harvests that we're doing right now, we're going to get all those delivered in the next episode. Hopefully this does this hill, okay? Um, this is where I thought about getting the four-wheel drive, but I think the two-wheel drive with as much horsepower as this has. Yeah, it's doing just fine. But anyhow, sorry, I got distracted. We're going to harvest our canola, get that shipped out. That's not going to finish that contract, but we'll get a lot of that contract done. Um, then we're going to do some silage bales once that's ready to harvest down there. Get the silage just sold off. Get horses set up. That's kind of the plan. Get our harvest done, get horses set up, hopefully add another business, get stuff delivered for subscriber contracts, and kind of call it good from there. So that is the plan. That is the plan next episode. And I think we'll be able to accomplish that pretty good. Gosh, this harvester is so sweet. We're already getting ready to fill up the uh, other harvester. This thing has a 12,200 liter um, grain tank, which is honestly incredible for us. And what do we need for barley? I think we need a 20,000 liter. So we should have some extra off of this, which would be really nice, actually. Um, I did think about, I mean, if we have a little bit extra barley, we might get like a small chicken coop because chickens are pretty easy to take care of, quite honestly. I mean, they really are. So we could just get a little bit extra and get some chickens. And you can make a lot off the eggs. Because, I mean, what I mean, what kind of chicken coops do we have? Oh, wow. Yep. I want to keep an eye on him. Yeah, he's not going to do well around this corner, probably. We'll slow down for a second. Let's take a look at chicken coops here. Because, I mean, we go to chickens... This little fenceless one's only two grand, 150 chickens. That one only does that, doesn't do a lot. That one does 360 chickens. That might be a good one, little 9,000. I mean, this one, honestly, $2,000, then we just put some fences around it. I don't know, it's not a bad one. I really like the look of that one, though, quite honestly. That one looks really good. This one doesn't look half bad, though. To be honest, it kind of fits with our depressing uh, decor around here. But yeah, we could take a look at maybe doing chickens. I mean, let me know what you guys think down in the chat if you guys think we should do some chickens or not. Um, I know I'm a little behind on comments for this series, but yeah, let me know down in the chat what you think about us doing some chickens. Um, I'm pretty dead set on doing horses unless I see some really negative comments about it. Uh, but I think we're really set up for that, and I think that'll be good. So I'm, I'm really planning on doing horses. Um, and there's some on the channel that's been watching for a while. Jaden is really excited about me doing horses, I'm sure, if she's watching this series. Uh, so, Jaden, those horses are going to be for you as well, my friend. Uh, you're very welcome. You've been asking me to do horses for a long time. So, I do want to do those. I've always said I wanted to do them on a series. I did say I was going to do them on the New Jersey Farmer series. But, obviously, as you guys know, we, didn't, we stopped doing that series. So, yeah, I think this would be a good series to do them on. I haven't done a lot of horses. Honestly, I haven't done any horses, really, in FS22, other than through my tutorial videos. So, I think that would be kind of fun to do that. Just something a little bit different. But... Anyhow, guys, I'm going to finish working on this harvest, get some of that stuff done off camera, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.